You can say they are a piece of San Francisco history. Now, after retiring in the city by the bay, this entertaining dynamic duo now calling the desert Las Vegas home. That story next on News 3 at 4. Well, where do female impersonators go to retire? Las Vegas, naturally. After more than 30 years, two of the last surviving entertainers from the, sa the famous San Francisco nightclub, Finicios, have settled in Vegas. As our media partners at Las Vegas Sun found one of them still performing in drag today. I'm almost in your arms to stay. Where do, do we former impersonators or drag queens go to when they retire. They come to Las Vegas. Why not? <laughs> we decided to come to Las Vegas. I have been here now about seven years. And I have done a few shows here for the uh, uh, Clark County Libraries uh, doing my Judy Garland act. I was a boy soprano in my youth and then um, in the choir, I took in high school, they wanted me to sing lower. And I did. So I was what was called a split voice singer because I could sing in both voices. So that was the beginning of the persona of Laverne. I have been performing since 1965 when I was a teenager in Chicago. I got written in four books because of my Judy Garland act. I would uh, start it in the high voice and then switch to the low voice in the middle of the song. And the audience would get, you know, kind of shook up and they'd applaud. And of course, I'm in drag all the time. Those cruel and limpid green eyes, the pool were in my love lies. <laughs> they would say, wow, is that his voice? Or they would say sometimes, oh no, I'm sure they're lip syncing. But Finocchio's, they'll probably um, be no place like that. Again. Well, for more on this story, go to lasvegasweekly.com for a photo gallery and to hear a full performance.